So I really want to start being more like precise in what I'm saying and clear. And so one of the things is I want to talk about how the psychopath is able to maintain long-term control by creating a series of impossible situations. And the situations are impossible for the particular psyche that they're controlling. And the whole psycho, the, a psychopath is actually a genius. And they're a genius at manipulating other psyches. That's what their genius is at. Because that's all their attention has gone into from infancy is how to control other people. Right? That's the only thing they know how to do is slave. They're slaving geniuses. That's what a psychopath is. It's a slaving genius. They're a Michael Jordan of manipulation. That's what a psychopath is. And so if you have someone who has Asperger's and is like hyper idealist or hyper conceptual, um, that person is vulnerable to that sort of abuse. You know, and they, they actually, if they have children, they cultivate and groom those children uh, to have psyches which are vulnerable to them. They're deeply, deeply vulnerable to them. And so what the psychopath is doing is he creates a series of impossible situations. And the person who's dealing with the impossible situation has to deal with each impossible situation. And if they're smart, they have to pay attention to the interpersonal dynamic and patterns and the practical destructive consequences to their life of the patterns and where responsibility and fault is they have to start tracking the interpersonal personal relationship now if it's a parent child relationship that won't happen until later you know like that'll happen like 22 23 when significant loss uh, trust has been lost by the child in the parent you know because of this pattern of abuse but what the what they're doing and so the person is dealing with repeated devastation uh repeatedly being thrown into a uh, a devastated state and an impossible situation and having to come out of it and if they're like an asperger's codependent like me they're thinking their way out of it right and and they learn to do that faster and faster and their brain goes into hyperdrive and so and and that state of hyperdrive gets like more and more intensified over time until an autistic meltdown or crash can happen right because they're trying to escape and the, their whole ability to escape is based upon their cognition and they don't understand like putting all their eggs in that basket is if they were like in a normal situation and could just be a savant and a genius in a free market th that would be amazing but they're not they're actually in a virtual prison controlled by a psycho and so it, with their whole hyper idealism uh hyper cognitive cognitiveness is actually working against them because the the psychopath from outside that's the ideal person to be able to control you know just get them like running their software over and over they have hyper powerful uh, energy intensive software so every time you need them to like kind of be out of the way or go sit in a room or waste their own time or energy just make them think they have access to resources and 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 make them rely on premises which will ultimately be falsified and ultimately changed by the psychopath to restart the uh, the software, um, the processing. But um, until that point, just to get them to run it, you just make them rely on something and th then they start running it, you know? And so like the psychopath is, is really like, they're creating the, the rocked in a highly manipulative and agentic way, the psyche of the other person and their genius is at manipulating and slaving and mastering the other person. And once they have you in a position, you have to understand like that's what a pimp does. They keep you reacting, right? And so the person who is the victim in the situation, right? They have to not only pay attention to like, like okay, this is the agreement and this is like what I have to do. And if again, they're autistic dependent, like that process and the context is super nuanced and precise and complex. And then like enacting it is a whole nother thing, you know? And, and so like, Especially if you have Asperger's, like you have to really reason out precisely what you're going to do. And you can do that in a way that other people can do it. You can like take into account all like multifactual analysis and process of eliminated decision making. And you can arrive at a thing that you're clear that this is the way this is the optimal way to do it. And then you have all these plan contingencies built into uh, the into the plan, like plan B, plan C, 
if at this point this happens and this is the uh, uh you know option two and like you know you have all these contingencies built in and so you have a real world map you have a real world map of the situation you know and um like i moved this time like i moved to go further away and the person came closer to me that's that's what indian pakistani people do you know and then so if you have Asperger's and and you you plan out this like multifactorial plan with all these contingencies built into it, right? You have all these contingencies built into it, and um, at different points, if you start messing with that too much, such that that all reasonable and you know every single like possibility like you, you really mess it up like the world is not random enough to map mess up an asperger's person's plan right but you because you're intentionally doing it you know the things that aren't flexible but would never have to be flexible without ma malice subversion right you start undermining and subverting those aspects of the plan you know what i'm saying and then you make so much time go back past that like you know like me as an ass i'm very action oriented but like my action oriented like now everything is different you know after burnout oxygen deprivation everything is different now but my style was that like i went into my like super hyper cognitive like hibernation immersive research mode and once i had that like multi-contingency very complex like model of the thing map of the world that i had to engage I was ready to go. I could fight. I could war. I could enact. I could do whatever. Because I had a lot of conviction in my own design, my own research, and my own strategy, and my own plan, you know? Once I had, like, an understanding of the map, I could go anywhere and do anything. Uh, like, with it, that, that that map covered, you know what I'm saying? And so I would go into action mode. And so it would be, like, six or seven months of research, uh, uh, four or five months of negotiation, and then, like, four or five months of both like kind of overlapping like a year of that and then a year of me like doing like kind of refining everything and then like two years of me struggling something like that three to four years total you know two to three years total sometimes like and then like last minute like the last like 33 percent of the enactment process the last 50 percent at the end he got so good at it like the minute i trusted in the premises and like really started going he would pull the reins you know and so you got to understand that someone m malicious is on paper uh surrounded by his cronies and isolating you making you look like shit repeatedly for their own narcissistic grandiosity and the narcissistic grandiosity of the kids who favor him or like the the like the cronies who are on his side you know to make all of them look good because that's his like pharaohic godhead basically you know and so he's like to glorify that he has to dehumanize the person who won't conform with it does not worship it is not n not part of it rejects it rejects the idolatry you know the self idolatry self idolization you know uh, you have to destroy that person and so you can in a secular society or in a republic or quote unquote a republic like america bullshit um in a country like that they have to like look make murder look like suicide they have to make murder look like suicide and over time they're placing the person in a more and more vulnerable position despite their ambition despite their brilliance despite their creativity genius artistry effort hardworkingness, uh you know all that despite every virtue in the world they're putting someone in the most vicious role the, the most villainized demonic role the untouchable role in their society now the person who is in themselves on and this is what a hikamori syndrome is exactly what i'm talking about like if you're an eastern person especially an eastern male but all eastern people um you your drive for status is enhanced a thousand times over your drive for status is enhanced a thousand times over right and so it's like magnified exaggerated and so someone who is raised in eastern order and unconsciously has eastern motives but is self-aware enough and modern enough in in their conscious thought and philosophy and self-aware enough 
of their unconscious like pre-modernity that they're willing to govern their pre-modern pre-modern motives and psyche uh, by modern principles consciously and so they're, they're uh, trying to attain extremely high status to fulfill that aristocratic impulse but at the same time they're trying to do it through like contractual uh, agreements entrepreneurship a series of contra contracts and deals like the free market basically you know and that's what early modernity is it's people trying to fulfill their traditionalist uh, wounded motives but in in a fair rational free market sort of win-win sort of way right that's what early modernity is and mature modernity like the next generation they lose some of those motives even but you know like of course the child of an immigrant from an extremely pre-modern society is going to have those motives you know and so that person is extremely driven for, for those reasons and for other uh, intensifying, further intensifying reasons. And they're, they're being humiliated and degraded and constantly undermined from succeeding. So they may not be truly being failing, they're not failing because everything is incomplete, nothing is completed. Like no project I started in the 15, 20 years that have just passed has been completed. I'm not a failure even once. You know what I am? I'm completely incomplete. I'm serially incomplete. You, you know what I'm saying? So that's not failure, it's incompleteness. Like it's repeated and nothing was allowed to be concluded because someone who has Asperger's does not, does not, is not a trivial person. It's a force to be reckoned, their rationality is a force to be reckoned with. And I like never took a step without like perfect analysis, you know? And so each one, like my, that, and my father knew it. He knew like once I was moving, like I was like a tiger, you know, on the prey, like I had it, you know what I'm saying? Like once I was moving, cause I didn't, I, I would stalk, you know, that's what Asperger's, they stalk like through the mind, they stalk an idea or like a concept and they, they stalk it, they put, you know, they, they figure everything out perfectly before they launch into action, you know? And so whenever I would launch, he would know that was the moment to disrupt it and shut it down, you know? And that's what he would do. You know, and then I wasn't allowed, like, as an Eastern person to question my father's motives, his patterns of behavior, his character. And the slightest questioning was itself a motive for him to punish me more, you know. And so, I don't know. Yeah, so, like, I may not be being, like, like, the reason I, I say it every sort of way it's because on paper, my case is super precise, super organized, super orderly, but it's still complicated. All the puzzle pieces fit together in a certain way. Uh, they're all like synergistically, uh, you know, legally good, like whatever. But, you know, it's still like, it's still complicated. The situation is still really complicated because it took place over 40 years. The situation took place like, over 40 years, involves human trafficking and like Eastern formation and social contract and then immigration to the US and all sorts of stuff, you know? So the situation's super complicated, but it doesn't mean I'm not right, you know? It doesn't mean I'm not right. And I'm, I wasn't wronged. Anyways, that's it for now. Bye.